Right, we've had to climb up on the ladders for these. It is the 20th of July. Uh, I have shaved one or two heads, but I'm just going to show you what we do. These are seed heads, as we see. There's a one here hasn't opened up as yet. These ones are just starting to open up. They've still got part of the sheath on. Just remove those down. I don't tear them off because they can put a wound into the plant. There's the one there. These have grown on and already been removed. This one, I've shaved the bottom off just with a pair of scissors. I'm going to show you on here. And I've left a tuft of seed on the top <clears throat> because I would like to take both seed and grass from here. We can see the grass just starting to grow. These are baby leeks. Now this one here, at the back here, um, the bees have been in for the last week or so and I can actually see that they are now pollinated and the seeds starting to grow. You really need to shave the head before the seed sets, otherwise the plant thinks it's already done its duty in, re in reproducing and sometimes it's shy in producing glass, on grass. Here's a one which has still got flowers on it. Uh, some of them are pollinated as I can see, but the seed's not forming yet. So all we do, Take a pair of scissors. Snip them up like this. Now you could leave that tuft on the top if you wanted seed, but on this particular one, all I want is grass. So I'm gonna go a little bit further. Just give them a haircut. That's it, it's now nice and clean. This is just the stalks that the flower heads were on. But if we were to come back here in two or three weeks time, this would be full of new um, baby leeks growing, young grass starting to grow on there. Uh, I've got some further along, which I'm gonna show you. One that I shaved off a couple of weeks back and another one that I'm gonna shave now because it's got both seed and grass on it. And I'm gonna show you what to do with that one. Right, I've moved further along the stockhouse. Uh, we look here, this is the sheath that's dried and dropped, dropped off. We can look at this particular plant. It's got grass on it, so it's got baby leeks on here already. They'll be nowhere near ready. I mean, these are gonna be another two months before they're ready to come off. But I'll just try and get one off to show you. That's it. If you look at that against my T-shirt, you can see it's actually Got the, the base on it here. Oh, there's two there. So they are two baby leeks. So that's the grass that we're looking for. Now, as this one's produced both grass and seed, I, I still want to produce all grass off this particular plant. So what I'm going to do is just shave everything off, grass included. So again, these are lovely big fresh heads. Right, that grass will grow back on there. Uh, I've taken, removed all the seed, so the plant will still strive to reproduce, so it will produce a full head of grass. And if we look at this one behind, that was shaved a couple of weeks ago, and you can see the grass is coming through quite thick and fast, if you can see that. It's looking pretty good. And I'll just leave these two. I don't want them all shaved at the same time because I do want a succession of heads to be set uh, over a period of time. And my starting date will be probably sometime in September and I'll go right through October into November. And if, I, if I'm lucky enough, I'll hold on to one or two heads, which will be ready in December. So that's it for reproducing your plants. Uh, we will look back in a couple of weeks and we'll have a look at how the heads are performing and uh, show you quite a few with grass on. 